And salutations, Sagittarius. Welcome to Barnacle Tarot. Um, and happy full moon. Today is the April 7th full moon in Libra. And so this will be a, a reading centered on those energies. Um, but in the meantime, I will tell you that to celebrate the full moon, I will be recording live on Bonneco Tarot uh, this evening, uh, Bonneco Tarot on Facebook. So please feel free to join us. Uh, it's been a good time so far. And, uh, and if you do find that this reading resonates with you, I would be so grateful if you would be so kind to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, and, um, and hopefully we'll see you again. So a first card popped out. I'm just going to leave that there for now, okay? Um, but this one apparently wants to be that. So the way that I'm doing this is we're looking at what's, what's in shadow and what this full moon is going to be illuminating, okay? Because the full moons always shine a light on things. And then what will be the result of that illumination? Okay, so there we go. All right, and then I'll look at the hidden energies after. So, ah, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so what's in shadow is you're keeping something to yourself. Um, yeah, you're keeping your cards close to your chest. But... The full moon is going to illuminate what your, what your master plan is, you magician, manifester you. And the result of that is a wish come true. So, and celebration, I would think, maybe a little bit of overindulgence. So be careful of that. All right, so let's... Uh, let's get some clarifiers here to bring a few more details to this story. So, a decision has been made. Okay? Um, and it's just internally, it's so clear to you. It's so clear. Could not be clearer. But you're keeping it over here. See? Like that kind of deal. That's where you've been at, okay? Uh, let's see, what else do we have? No. Nope. What else? Is that the one? I think so. Hmm. So this is uh, the King of Swords. So the King of Swords um, is a really good communicator. Um, and he's also really good about laying out boundaries. So... Um, you may have kind of hit a, a wall or a line, you know, um, and because of that, you know, it's like you're, you're creating something. Yeah. Um, something from the past, you've been kind of, uh, keeping your eye on, on things from the past. Um, so what is it that you're manifesting, you magician, you? Uh, the magician also suggests that you realize that you have all the tools you need to make stuff happen. Um, yeah, it's like, and you're willing to work, you know, with a team. Um, or as a team and put in the work and organize it. Ooh. Pardon me, Sag. I've been doing a few readings kind of all in a row here. I should probably have something to drink in a minute. Let me, uh, let me get these cards out. Okay. So, but you know, you're defending your territory. Um, there's something about what it is that you're working on that, uh, that needs to be protected. You know, um, let's see, you know, as opposed to maybe, maybe in the past, um, maybe you've been burned by situations where you were too open and you're learning now, but 
be careful not to be too focused on whatever you're you're working on. Um, make sure you look up a little bit uh, as opposed to, you know, kind of looking at what what isn't working because there could be a much easier solution right in front of you uh, where, you know, you'll be, able, you know, it's kind of like the, the idea of work, work smarter, not harder, you know, it's that kind of idea. So now let's take a look at the Nine of Cups and see where we're headed. Well, you're charging ahead like full steam. Full steam ahead. Okay. Um, and let's see here. Yeah, this is justice for you. You could also be involved with a Libra. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like that it's, it could be through, through this full moon in Libra that, um, you're aligning yourself somehow with a Libra and moving forward quite rapidly. And this is really, this is exactly where you want to be. Ooh. Yeah, you're moving so fast, <laughs> super fast. Super, super, super fast. Um, yeah. Towards it. And, you know, um, and you're kind of cutting whatever's in your way. You're like, phew, phew. no, not today. Not today. This is where I'm going. You can't stop me. Kind of, kind of feeling. And it's going to become very disruptive for the people around you, whatever this choice is that you've made. But by the looks of it, uh, it looks as though, you know, this is likely to be, to, to come with a good outcome. Sure enough, there it is. It's a whole new adventure. There could be an Aries somewhere um, in this story as well, but basically it's time. It's time for a new adventure for you and you're ready. You know, you're ready to take a leap of faith uh, and move into something, you know, into some unfamiliar territory. But like, holy crap, look at this. Like, seriously, man, <laughs> could you be going any faster? If I was Chandler from Friends, could you be going any faster towards this? <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, I hope uh, I hope you found that reading insightful, Sagittarius. And uh, if you did please be sure to hit subscribe on your way out and hopefully we'll see you again.